Hey, what's up guys? Vajira and Jenny here. <laughs> Hi! We're back at Lava Fitness. Check out my new shades. Yeah, look at the look at the shades I bought Jenny yesterday. They're pretty sweet, right? Yay! Yeah. Look at that. Best $10 to ever spent. So, <laughs> we're back today. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of arms and shoulders. Might throw in a few squats. I, I think we talked about this already a little bit, is that I've been running like every day since I've been here. Pretty much, yeah. And since I'm on vacation, I'm a little hesitant to do leg days because Jenny knows I can't really just like do some maintenance <laughs> leg day, you know? I'm gonna have That's to, like, what I told him. You always just like come out of the gym limping. <laughs> you never just like do legs to just like maintain. I'm gonna get in there and blow my legs up and I'm gonna ruin my vacation because I can't walk anymore. So I think I'll probably just try to chill. I really, really enjoy running and I uh, running is something I've always really um, been pretty good at and it's always been really good for me physically and mentally so I'm really enjoying getting getting in the lava fitness back in Gainesville <laughs> making making some gains on my upper body and stuff like that and then spending the evening time running for like I don't know 30 40 minutes and been feeling really good and I think that's enough on my knees and my legs right now and also uh, it, it allows me to enjoy my life on vacation instead of being crippled and stuff like often happens on leg it day does. and then I always lower his chair on the stream and he has yeah. to suffer <laughs> that's so painful I feel so bad because I always forget it's like right after leg day yeah so I hobble around but, but anyway <laughs> I might be I might just be making excuses for not wanting to to do legs on vacation but hey I'm on vacation I can just do arms and chest and back and all that stuff so that's what I'm gonna do today might hit a few squats um, but regardless we're here feeling pretty good you probably get hang out with Grant again yeah well maybe we'll ch check out Grant yeah and uh, we're sipping on our, our N0C4 mix that's the pre-workout we're doing right now swamp water we'll swamp water from Narlins Georgia Narlins Georgia but yeah we mix C4 and N0 and it's green now because we used uh, the blue raspberry and orange so don't do that don't do that <laughs> Maybe other flavors, but don't do those two flavors. Yeah, the orange, the orange kind of like makes it kind of sour. But I don't know. I, I think it's getting better as we go along. I'm getting used to it. It's probably just real strong in the beginning. Yeah. But regardless, looking forward to hitting some shoulders and some arms today. Gonna go, gonna go get to it. Jenny's gonna go do her cardio, mm -hmm. and after an hour or so, she'll check in with us, and we'll uh, we'll have a look at what I'm doing for the day. But all right, guys, see you then. Peace. Peace. There we go. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jerry here. So back in Gainesville. I got the door closed. Yeah, it's a little cloudy today. today. It was a little bit cloudier. I thought it might rain, I guess, so they closed yeah. the door. That's fine. It just makes it a little bit darker, a little bit more stifling. You know, the air is even thicker. But Tough I like that. Man. So today, for me, shoulders and arms. That's what I'm doing today. So Ooh. you guys have been through this workout with me before. And I'm doing pretty much the same thing like I always do. Um, I read some comments about uh, how I was using the, the dumbbell press correctly. That made me feel good. Um, and even though I am leaning back a little bit on this one, when you start to push, you really focus on pushing from your shoulders. And it was really noticeable for me when I was doing heavier weights. But we've been here for, you know, an hour and 10 minutes, an hour and 15 minutes. So, you know, things are slowing down a little bit, but we'll still show you some, some dumbbell presses. I did hear that somebody told me that I was favoring my left arm a little bit, I think. I'm not really sure if you meant that I was using it too much or too little. But you tell me, if you get right to the see, see if you see the same sort of thing. All right. Because we're a little bit of an angle. This is good. This is good viewers. I think this is straight. Straight forward. The thing is too is Bajir is always really concerned about making sure he works his left arm like his right arm. You know how like if you favor one arm more than the other. So he wants to make sure both are well taken care of. Aw oh, yeah, serious weightlifting discussion. What are you talking about? He can't hear me, streamers. We're gonna be talking. You guys break my focus so hard <laughs> I didn't go super heavy. No, I, well, I, I come close because it's you know, a little windy. A little squeaky, squeaky nothing is what I'm doing my sets. Mm -hmm. So sweet nothing today. Um, in the comments before, I've seen some people tell me to do preacher curls, so I was doing some today. They're pretty cool. You want to see them? Yeah. They sound new. I'm, I'm guessing these are yours. Yeah. <laughs> and those. So the preacher curl. And then you get over the, like this, and it flattens your tricep out, so it's just a big ass bicep sticking up, so it looks cool. <laughs> okay. And it gives you an interesting isolation. Really good, remember what we were talking about last night, how you flex the muscle? You 
flex the muscle and have that be what make, brings the weight up. We're able to do that quite a bit, so I'll show you. Headphones get in my way. Now you guys can instruct me on how to position my elbows. And I, hopefully, I hopefully I'm showing you guys. Or outside of the bar. I think as long as they're straight, you're good. I don't know, you guys can correct me. So I'm trying to keep constant tension. You got a vein popping out on your one arm. Ugh, get so creepy. <sighs> One more. Yep, yep, yep. You got it. Good job. Yep. You got one more? Nope. <laughs> Probably could. But. You got real good, like the negative, like yeah. the negative to going down real yeah, slow. Yeah, that's why I like it. That Is looks it, good. That's what I was talking about. It's real, really, really isolates your bicep. So you go slow down, squeeze hard up, and let it go down slow again. Just gets lots of pump action on the biceps. It feels good. So, we did a press and a pull, so now I want to go back to another press movement. we go over here. Go do some tries. This is a, our uh, trusty, trusty tricep pull downs, or push downs. This, I'm using this rope attachment. Mm -hmm. This is different than the braided rope. What's the difference? Is this it just one, easier to maneuver? It's a, it's a little bit drier, but I think it's also a little bit thicker, so you can really dig in with your forearms, D dig in with your grip strength. Okay. Let those forearms get real pumped up. Uh huh. And when you're in your pushing motion, you get your, you get your forearms into that. And here, look, look into my hands. Kind of push out, and it helps your tricep, but also helps, helps curl your it too. Okay. This forearm, like the bottom of your forearm, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Little baby part of. Your little the baby, baby arm. Out of your arm. That. <laughs> I'm all pumped up. It's arms. Today. I don't want that. <laughs> Well, maybe alien in your I don't arm want either. an alien in my arm. I just want to have them just be fine. <laughs> All right. So, since this is an attachment that's a little bit longer than other attachments, put it have up to, a little higher. You have to get in a, a bit of a stance to do it. Pop in a squat. Pull with your body, but get in a little bit of a stance. Get locked in. And then do what we're talking about with your with your triceps, of course. But push your push your palms to the ground. Good. Feels real nice. All right. Tough man. So that's all that, all that tricep action on there. All that. Ah! So after we do, so what are we doing so far? The press, press, pull, a pull, another press. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is I often do flies for the for the rear delt stuff, but. And, and going with the push pull. That's a pull. Mentality. Mm -hmm. we're, yeah, we're gonna do the rear delts. We're gonna do one more pull. So we're okay. pulling up. Yeah. And yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. So I'm 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 doing a real light. You can get heavier if you want to. But try to find a place where you where you can pull. And it pulls right in the rear delts. You can see them sticking out a little bit. I don't know if you can see. Show the back. Yeah. Right, right at the back of my shoulder, right at the top. I don't know if you guys can see it in the in the black shirt and all. I'm pulling my my, my elbows backwards, I'm trying to engage those rear delts. I'm not pulling into my back. I'm pulling into my shoulder. Whew. 
All right, so I'm gonna just take a quick rest. Let my shoulder recover, because the next thing we're gonna do is a bit, it's not really a pull or a press, but it's this thing, you know, the flies? Yeah. That strikes me as a bit of a press. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna do next. But no, today, today's been a great workout. I wasn't feeling like my best coming in, but um, the guys a lot of fitness, they don't watch in the videos that I posted there. Grant was super pumped about it. There was a lady who I talked to before. He was like, hey, we saw your video. And I was like, oh, cool. Yay. <laughs> so they're really happy about it. And uh, it's good to be able to come in on vacation and have, one, have an awesome workout in an awesome gym. And three, let them film. And four, be excited about it. So, Yay. you know, some gyms don't want you filming in there. But yeah. these guys are all about it. So yeah, it's a great atmosphere at Hilton, here at the Hilton Head Island Law of Fitness. So. I'm happy we got to, to check it out. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, I mean, if you guys are, I mean, some people said that you go to Hilton Head Island for vacation. For vacation. If you guys want to go lift, uh, come to Lava Fitness and tell them tell them Bajira sent you. See if they say anything. <laughs> I don't think they're not going to give you a discount or anything, but <laughs> at least that'll be cool. I'll just think it's neat. Yeah. All right. Let's do some some flies here. Some flies. I'm going to grab my 30s again. 30s. They're not the most that I do flies with, but they're pretty heavy, so yeah. Be careful here, especially if you, if you younger guys. If you younger guys are watching these videos, you know you're still like in your teens. Please, please, please go very light on shoulder exercises because you do not want to mess up your shoulders because you're still young and your shoulders are still growing. So don't go heavy. You can do these exercises, these movements, but don't go heavy. So uh, real slow, making sure the weight stays right on my delts the whole time. To help you out, what you can do is you can even sort of, I'll show you, you tilt your hands up a little bit like this. Like you almost try to bring them up par like parallel. Uh -huh. It's kind of like upright row, but it's not quite the same. It's a little bit further out. It's a similar thing. It's upright row. So after we do the some flies, I think I could do more of those, but I don't want to bore you guys. <laughs> Maybe do 15 reps, just. Ah! Right, so um, after that, I'm probably just gonna hop over here, do some big shrugs. Big boy shrugs. So my buddy, my buddy, my Aussie mate, Dan Arden, been commenting on a lot of the fitness stuff. I, I feel bad because I thought he was trolling me one time, giving me a hard time at the Smith machine. But he told me to do, I'm gonna do shrugs with 120 pounds. And uh, I, did a couple, I did a couple sets in the beginning. What are these? 95? These are just 95s. I did a couple sets on 120s in the beginning, Dan. They were heavy. I like to get, I like to get it more than six reps in, so. I went back to the 95s. Doing them nice and slow, nice and controlled. Keeping it all in that trap. These are heavy though, so you might have to scoot back a little bit. I'm gonna, yeah, because he's gonna slam them down. You guys know how yeah, he does know. it. Actually, I've been putting them down nice and soft recently. That's great, dude. All right. Gym Thanks. etiquette. He's learning it. Gym awareness. You guys all know how I am about the awareness. Hold those shrugs. Yeah. Good job, baby. Nice work. Those are heavy. Yeah. Now, a lot of times, this isn't your fault. Like a lot of times what I've heard in the past about shrugs, is you want to squeeze hard at the top. Now I've seen one video of a guy talking about this, and I'm I'm inclined to, to go with him on it a little bit. A lot of what's going to build your shrug mass, I mean not trap mass, is at least what's helped me a little bit. Is not necessarily the squeeze at the top, but the stretch at the bottom. So, I'll, like when I do my shrugs, sometimes what I'll do in the beginning, especially, is I'll hold it. I'll get my traps nice and stretched out and I'll just balance the weight a little bit and it stretches out the muscle but I feel like there's something to that and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's not super comfortable but... Right, I'll turn around so you guys can see it in the mirror again. So you get, you get the mirror you get right the right there and just kind of bounce it. Stretch out those traps. 
Kind of going with that negative motion again? Yeah, keep them tight though. Interesting. Yeah, so it's like a negative, it's like a negative, but you know, there's not a lot of motion. Mm -hmm. It's like a stretch at the bottom. Like stretching so. it, but also. I don't know, I mean, it's like, you know, it's like how deadlifts yeah. help your traps. Like, you're not really going like this when you do a deadlift, but you're holding it, like it's just on your, when you're doing, when you're doing the whole deadlift thing, you know, you get down, picking it up, I mean, it's just, there's, there's tension on your traps the whole time. And you, I'm not pulling with my lats. But there's tension on your lats the whole time. So as I've been doing deadlifts, my lats have grown incredibly. I don't know if you guys can tell if my traps or not, but they've grown a lot too. So it's good stuff. But that's pretty much my shoulder and arms workout for today. That's great. I do, I do the press, the curls, the push downs, the rows, the, the flies, flies, and then the shrugs. That's pretty much all I do for today. So if you guys want to try out that sort of workout, if you got some dumbbells at home, you can pretty much do everything with dumbbells. If you got really light dumbbells, you can substitute the push downs for some overhead with the weight. Be, be careful. I do don't, those. Don't do heavy. Just don't smack your you back do of your head yeah, you with the overhead. You can do one hand, you can do two hands. I usually do two hand. Like that. So with like a 20. But that's that's what I'm doing today. Jenny, Jenny's been beasting on her cardio. I'm gonna mm -hmm. go let her finish up. Thank Yay. you for recording, baby. Of course. And uh, see you guys. Uh, see you guys next time. Maybe we'll maybe we'll show you some beach footage. Who knows? But regardless, we're having a great time here at Hilton Head Island. Hope you guys are having fun wherever you are too. So thanks for watching. And peace.